Okay, in this video, we're going to look at small sided games. Okay, so um, more and more elite footy teams are using small sided games predominantly for their conditioning work. Um, for one, it's efficient. Okay, so it, it, it uh, trains conditioning as well as skills at the same time. Um, and it's, it's obviously more specific to football than, than predetermined kicking to cones, kicking to players who are over there, you know where they're going to be. So it incorporates decision making. So uh, decision making is pretty much the difference between uh, a very good VFL player and an AFL listed player, okay? They can all run as fast, they can run as far, they're as strong. Um, just decision making um, is pretty much the difference of what people draft, of what teams will draft on. So. We will start off with handball, okay? So we just want to look at the variables um, in a small side of game. So variable one for handball is the amount of players that you use, okay? So you want to start uh, lots of players, medium players, and progress down to a small amount of players. Variable number two is the duration. So obviously you want to start short uh, and increase the time um, as you progress through. Variable number three is the area of the box that, you, that you're working, okay? So, um, one of the negatives of small-sided games is trying to work out how to limit change of direction too early uh, in, in the training period, uh, just to give the groins, or just not to overwork the groins too early. Um, so, you don't want to be covering too much area where there's so much change of direction, cutting, sprinting, um, high load on the body. Okay, so I think we do two or three weeks of handball um, for the coach's manual. Then we move into kicking. Okay, so the variables there is again number of players, um, lots of players to low number of players, the duration, short to long, um, area covered, uh, little to large, um, and another a fourth variable I've put in is tempo. Okay, so uh, that will allow you to use. Uh, large areas um, but if, if, if you make the rules as though once you get the ball you have to go back and kick over the mark it's going to limit play on constant movement um, it'll just slow it down slow that slow the drill down a bit so they're good to use early so in the manual I've got um, slow medium and fast tempo um, these go pretty much right up so we do two or three weeks of handball and the rest is kicking um, all the way up to pretty much the first practice game, uh, depending on the date of when that is. And um, we pretty much end up doing 20 minutes of low number of players, um, large area, fast tempo, okay? You just want to work up to that. And you can, you can also gauge your decision making of your players and the skill level and where they're improving or just making the same mistakes over and over again. Okay, you could split your teams up as well. Um, you could have your know, sort of reserves, fringe players. They could play a game. You could have the senior players play the game. Of course, you can mix them together. Um, but that's small-sided games.